how to set up a sign bar. This is a fast little video. I'm only doing two examples. Please stay tuned. I'm also going to recap the five most important things that I covered at the end of this video. Okay. Sign bars. This is a five inch sign bar. Between the center of this pin and the center of this pin is exactly five inches. This is a micro three inch sign bar. Between the center of here and the center of here is three inches. So what do we use a sign bar for? For making angles, very accurate angles. We use gauge block buildup to calculate the heights. So let's come up with a number, shall we? Okay, let's come up with a number. Let's say uh, 15 degrees, 10 minutes. Okay, if I want to set this 5 inch sign bar at 15 degrees in 10, 10 minutes, how high would I need to build a gauge block set up? So it's sign 15 DMS, which is degrees, minutes, seconds, 10, equals, times 5, equals. Sign, 15, DMS, 10, equals, times 5, equals. 1.3. Zero eight one three eight five five. Now with gauge blocks, we can only go to the tenth, which is this number here. We can only use this number here. Because this is less than five, we'll just pretend that doesn't exist. If it was greater than five, we would have made that into a two. So we need one tenth. Okay? So the smallest block that we have is really fifty thou, but that really won't get you one tenth. So it's going to be 0 0.1001, that's one-tenth. Then we would turn around and say 1.3081, which would really be a zero here. This guy here would be eight. This guy would be zero, this guy would be two, that would be one. So then we would turn around and say, okay, let's subtract that number. What we're going to do next is we're going to add eight thou. So... 0 0.108 which is going to be 1.1000 then it would be a hundred thou which would be 1.000 then it would be a one inch block so that's one block two blocks three blocks four blocks you want to use the minimum number of blocks to get away from accumulative error. So let's take a look at our blocks here. 100 thou, one tenth. Clean that off a little bit. Now the reason why I'm cleaning it, these are older gauge blocks and there's oil residue on these because they've been stored for a while. Then we need uh, 108. Which is, I believe this guy here. Now I'm going to ring these two together. Normally put them together 90 degrees, rotate, and then do a small amount back and forth, and they slide, they stick together. They're, they're not magnetic or anything like that. The story I was told when I was an apprentice, I don't know how true it is, is that when you push them together, it removes the air in between a very fine lap, and it creates a kind of vacuum which sticks it together. I've watched other documentaries that say we really don't know why it sticks together, so I'm going to stick with the story I was told as an apprentice, just because that's what I was told. Okay, so I got the one-tenth, the eighth thou, and now I need the hundred thou. I'll ring this guy together here. You can feel when they give you lots of friction. 
when they're stuck together. And then I need the one inch. Oh. Try not to drop them. Okay. Now let's talk about wear blocks. With this, number one, I didn't check the size. Okay, not bad, 308. Number two, these guys here. They're 50 thou wear blocks. And you're supposed to put these on the outer edges. So when you're making contact with another piece, that this piece here doesn't damage any of the underlining gauge blocks. Okay, so that's basically the setup that you're going to use to do 15 degrees 10 minutes. So always put your gauge blocks back where you got them from right away as soon as you're finished using them. I can't stress that enough. This is 108. That guy's one one uh, hundred and hundred thou one tenth, and this guy here's got to be a hundred thou because that's the last block left. Oh, that guy's a hundred thou. Okay, let's do a couple more of these. Let's say 20, 20 degrees, 13 minutes, 15 seconds. Okay, so how are we going to do this? We're going to go sign 20 DMS, 13 DMS, 15 equals times 5 because we're using a five inch sign bar. Sign 20 DMS 13 DMS 15 equals times five equals. So to do 20 degrees, I'm gonna need 1 1.7281 nine seven okay remember we can only do four digits this guy here is larger than five so this guy here will become a two the rest of that will go to the wayside so what blocks do i need to come up with this size here well we always start at the smallest one so we're going to go two that two tenths so it's going to be 0 0.1002 then we might as well go through and do the subtraction like we did last time one seven two eight two which is going to give us zero eight two and that's going to be a six and that's going to be a one so 28 so next we're going to go 28 so we're going to go zero point one two eight which is going to give us zero 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 five one then we're going to subtract a half inch or sorry yeah, half inch or 500 thou block and then there's only one left which is that so this would be one block two blocks three blocks four blocks in most cases if you're running into tents you're going to use a four block combination if you don't have tents you're probably only going to use a three block combination let's take a look and see what those gauge blocks look like Okay, so we need the smallest block first, which we're going to run into, and we're going to say is two tenths. So right here, there's a two, uh, one hundred and two tenths. I'm going to clean the block off. Then we're going to use one twenty-eight, one twenty-eight. A lot of grime on these ones. 
And we're not going to talk about conditioning stones or any of those other things. We can talk about them in class. Then we need a half inch block. Half inch block and a one inch block. So we turn around and we measure this guy here and it should be uh, 728, 728, small lettering. That's the 28, and this guy has to be the two tenths. Okay, as promised, the five most important things that I covered during this video. Clean your blocks. Check your measurements. Return the blocks as soon as you're finished with them. Use wear blocks, and start with the smallest block first. I hope that you've got a tidbit of knowledge from this, and if you have, please like and subscribe. It costs nothing, and it'll help me out. Thank you. Have a good day.